early at the Specialized store. Let's go. Hello, Rick. Hey, Sherry. Welcome. Nice seeing nice you. Nice seeing you. So as you know, next weekend is the weekend. Yeah, how are you going? Yes, I am going to Bintan. Oh, la, 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 la. So we got to get you faster. Yes, faster. I'm going to do my first race, although okay. it is technically non-competitive, mm -hmm. but it is my first one doing a timed ride mm -hmm. and riding in a peloton, so I'm very excited. Mm. Have fun. That's yeah, have fun. have fun and be fast. Oh. <laughs> okay. And look good. <laughs> and look good. <laughs> Brought my bike in today. Right now, I'm on the Alpinist CL. Yeah. So I obviously see a bunch of wheels here. Tell me, what would be a good recommendation? I think ideally for what you want, if you're gonna do a race kind of event, the CL Rapid 2 okay. would be a very good uh, choice. Okay. Because that wheels are fast. It's the new version of the CL Rapids. It's tubeless ready. Okay. So when you're in van, you get yep. that puncture, you don't need to worry, your race is over. So okay. at least with this, it seals itself, you're good to go. Okay. This is the baby we're talking about. I'll just All right. take one out and show you. Here you go, Sherry. All right. This uh, CL Rapids, you're looking at different depth from your Alpinist. Yours right now, it's a 33. So this is 51, this is 60. That's good for climbing all around, but if you want something fast with aero gains, yep. this is the one. Visually looking, mm -hmm. this doesn't actually look too different from the 33. Um, but usually, how does it feel? Is it a big difference when you're on the bike? Um, okay, it's a big difference. Yeah. And when it's on the bike, you notice because the bike will totally change. The look okay. of the bike changes too. Okay. Yeah. So steering and everything. Steering and everything. Okay, so I should go for some rides and practice this, yeah, this week. Yeah, All right. Yeah. <laughs> we can set you up with the tubers ready. Let's go. Let's ride. Doing my reading about tubeless tires and trying to educate myself on the biggest differences and the science behind it. <laughs> First step is you just check is anything you know still stuck in yeah. there. So now everything is all good with your dropouts. Like mentioned at the front, there will be two lips on the side yeah. here. On match the on. Yeah, correct. We call this a drive side. So whatever your drive train is on is the drive side. Yeah. Okay. So drive side always on the right yeah. on the derailleur. Make sure the chain is on and then you pull it back. So you put the chain onto yeah. the first sprocket at the bottom. Yeah. You pull the derailleur back and you just basically line Pass. everything up nicely. Okay. Rotor align with your caliper and your pads and then simply pop it in like okay. that. Once yeah. you get it in, you'll good. feel it. Yeah. All right. Shall I try doing it? Yeah, go ahead. You can let go of the derailleur. Yep. So you just gotta line it up, wiggle it in. All right. Perfect. All good. All right. Okay. We're ready for Bintan. Look at this huge backpack I have. My bike is all padded up. Nice. Go. I've got all my stuff with me. The bike is all packed up in the car and we are ready to roll. I am so excited for the weekend and for the ride. Also, packing the bike in the car made me. <laughs> all right, let's go to Bintan. Hello, Sean. Are you ready? <laughs> Arrived, got our bikes all nice and safe, and we're gonna go pick up our race kits now. I'm so excited for this weekend, man. Like, it's really starting to sink in now that I've, you know, checked into the room. My friends are in their other respective rooms as well. And I'm so excited because I realized, aside from the fact that this is my first 
race. Um, it's also the first time I'm traveling with my bike and actually going on a cycling trip. So it's actually very monumental. Um, so yeah, right now it is almost 7 p.m. We just checked in, my friends are getting ready. And while they do that, I actually am getting a little bit of work done first. Um, to be honest, actually, on this trip, all I brought was like this backpack, although it is a big backpack, but all that is in there is my cycling kit and uh, times two and my cycling shoes. So it's pretty light, minus the fact that I brought my entire freaking laptop with me. So I was cycling with this earlier, um, but I did want to bring my laptop with me because I do want to take opportunities during the non-riding hours to get some work done so that I'm not just playing catch up on Monday. <laughs> Hashtag startup life. I didn't bring a charger for my laptop, okay? I told myself once my laptop dies, that's enough work for the weekend. Um, because this weekend the priority is cycling, enjoying time with friends, relaxing. So I think we might be getting massages tomorrow after the first 80 something kilometer ride. So it will be a good one. While my friends are getting ready, I'm gonna go get some work done. Cheeky little room tour time. All right, so this is what it looks like. And have my bike in the room because tomorrow morning I'm going to be riding to the starting point on Saturday and Sunday. So you can see everything in one go. It's actually pretty spacious. Bathroom's over here. La la la. I love this because they have a little rag here and basically they said, please don't use the bath towels to wipe your bike. This is meant for us to wipe our bikes, which is very thoughtful. So here is the baby, looking good. And when I came in, there was already a K-drama playing. <laughs> Cute little clutch, yes. <laughs> we have no idea where we're going, I'm trying to find where the food is. Is this what she meant? By there are some food options, and by food options, I think there's on the right side. I feel like this is good. Hi Jen. Senpai. She got first in her category today for the time trial and second overall. Senpai right there. Jen. Perfect size. Not that we should be drinking, but they're so cute. They're gonna go strategize. Bye. This took a while, but I finally put on <laughs> the number and I watched a bunch of tutorials. This is how you know it's honestly my first time. They said to wrinkle it up because it will stay on better and had to put on these two positions. And someone said on YouTube to do it over a pillow. So that's what I did. I tried to stretch it out earlier. Honestly, I think this should be fine. <laughs> she is ready to go tomorrow. Just put the bike tag sticker on and put on my helmet. And we're going to call it a night, get ready to sleep, and we'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early. cycling kit is on and I'm wearing literally my favorite outfit um, for good luck and I'm gonna wear gloves today I haven't worn them in a while but I feel like just in case god forbid something does happen it's better to have gloves on so gonna wear these and the bike is all ready to go got a little <laughs> sacrifice yourself not the bike Rachel's camera shy. Say hello. Sherry, what's your name? 
Just now, eh? <laughs> Cheeky hills. Cheeky hills. Oh god, no. It is bloody hot outside, but we're gonna kill it. We're gonna smash it, right? So thank you, Bobby, for being such a kick-ass camera person. <laughs> I'm so excited. The energy is great. There is a lot of testosterone here, but we're hopefully adding to the estrogen count. So <laughs> females represent. So serious. <laughs> trying to make sure I eyes on the wheel. <laughs> 13 kilometers in. It feels like it's 500 degrees Celsius outside. I am sweating roughly eight liters of sweat every minute. <laughs> I'm drinking a lot more water than I thought. Anyway, it's going well. Feels like I'm doing 18 laps of Sentosa right now. We are doing well. Do you know how do you feel? I feel fine. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's hot. <laughs> transporting of liquids, fluids. I think the only thing I probably wasn't prepared was just the heat. And that's a lot coming for the fact that I'm coming from Singapore, so. Is there water there? It's really hot. Good time to chat. So hot outside. We keep going now. Oh my god. Thanks, Gino, for <laughs> pulling me. <laughs> I think um, everything was honestly fine. It's not like I haven't done this distance, but the hills, my lower back, my back pain is back. So I was just in excruciating pain for the last like 10 kilometers, 20 kilometers, but we did it. I, um, my, <laughs> I don't know if you saw, but there was like this dude in front of me. I was like, all right, let's just go straight into the last 300 meters. <laughs> Not that it was a competition anyway, but... Nice finish. Strong yes. finish. Strong finish. Strong finish. 
but I near the end I couldn't go down on like the drops because my back was just hurting so much so it's time for a massage <laughs> How do you feel? I feel great. I yeah. feel great. He's it's like, nice to get out here. First time in Bintan. Very nice yeah. course, but very hot. The energy is great. So. But a lot of, yeah, a lot of fun. We completed the ride, Sean. Say hello. How hello. do you feel? Tired and sweaty. Was it tough for you? Yes, it was okay. It was good. Tolerable. What a stretch, man. So, so tired. I am absolutely glistening in sweat right now, but it feels so good. Can't wait to do 52 kilometers tomorrow. It's my first time riding so much in two consecutive days, but the energy is so great. So, so excited. We're gonna go get a massage. We're gonna eat and rest up before the tour dinner tonight. It's the cutest thing ever. I feel like a lot of the female kids here they get so inspired by seeing female cyclists go Sean! The last thing I want to do right now is ride back to the hotel for a good, I think it's like 12, 15 kilometers. But here we are. <laughs> so hot, oh my goodness, it's so hot. The last 12 kilometers going back to the hotel was an absolute killer. I honestly feel like throwing up right now and that was a tough one. But we are back at the hotel. Time to quickly shower and then we're gonna go get a 90 minute massage. So I'm very, very excited for that. Showered, I am so tired. Look at this tan line, beautiful, love it. Signs of a cyclist. My feet are so swollen, it hurts to wear my most comfortable Converse. That's how you know I am in a lot of pain, but oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, that's pretty small. <laughs> Are your arms bad? Yeah. You didn't put any sunscreen on there. Nice yeah. and intimate, you guys. Yeah. Just got back to the hotel room. Got an hour before it's the Bintan uh, tour dinner, which is happening in our hotel, which is perfect. So just gotta take on my contacts and take a fat one hour nap. I didn't want my stuff to stink up my backpack tomorrow. So just washed everything and I'm hanging it all up. Oh, I'm pretty shocked the at my own ability to so eat that it is one pile. Nicholas Up has always been one of the premier events across the entire world. Awesome. There wasn't much to talk about, but I'm sure yeah. it's a battle tomorrow for sure between these two gentlemen in the 70 plus age category. That was Peter in first position, representing BTCC, Jennifer Choi. It's only 8.40 at night, but I am feeling so tired. I quite literally ate like a mountain of food because I was so hungry because our last meal was 7 a.m. It was breakfast and then we didn't have lunch because we couldn't stomach food earlier. So, oh yeah, I think I'm gonna be in a food coma and just knock out now. So good night and I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for the 52 kilometer ride. The one ride tomorrow, it's shorter than today's, but there's a lot of hills and some really steep ones. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm just gonna get my jersey and everything ready for tomorrow morning. And then we're gonna call it a night. So good night. Good morning. Everybody, it is day two. There's such great vibes here. Okay, today we're gonna do a 52 kilometer ride, which I'm very excited for. My legs are kind of dead from yesterday, but we're gonna push through. There are a few steep climbs, so I am a little bit nervous, but we're gonna do it. <sighs> okay, and also the roads are a little bit wet today as well because it rained really hard last night. So gotta be careful and safe, but we're gonna smash it.
finished 52 kilometers. Honestly, it flew by. The hills were really not bad at all. It honestly felt like yesterday. So it was actually okay. I remember the first hill at 10 kilometers. I was so nervous for that. But then I think we already passed it. I was like, wait, where's the hill? Also, one of the feed stations was missing or I, I completely missed it. So yeah, but the 52 kilometers honestly flew by. Feels good. Um, and I pushed pretty hard. So I think I did it a lot faster than I thought I would, which I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I can't wait to go check out the real time results. Yes, we smashed it. The competitive Peloton, holy moly. Oh my God. What's your name? Adrian. And you're part of? I'm part of the uh, Women's Academy coaching team. Yeah. And Mark over there as well. Yeah. So um, the Women's Academy, we have two different uh, groups yep. we have the specific group where Jen is in now racing so they are a bit more uh, I wouldn't say serious but they, they are a bit more able to commit the hours of training and also uh, their focus is on racing then we have the uh, general group which that's the one you did <laughs> so the whole idea of the general group is uh, to provide a platform for people to come together especially uh, ladies to come together you know with the uh, hope of uh, encouraging them to take part in cycling events like yourself yeah. And at the same time to provide a sound structured training so that you don't overdo it. Yeah, so we are there to provide the sports science support and our coaching team are all experienced, you know, from World Tour Shane to Mark who has an ex-pro as well and myself, a sports science background. We are there to give you guys whatever you need, the tools to uh, continue enjoying cycling in the general program. Should one time you decide that, okay, I want to take it seriously, you know, I want to challenge myself, then the specific group is, uh, is uh, the next up. I wouldn't say the next level. I believe all of you have potential. It's just that you decided to... Uh, want you just to need push. to harness it. Yeah, you yeah. just need to harness it. <laughs> a bit more like this is something you want to do. Yeah. You want to push yourself a bit harder. Then the specific will be something that you can... Uh, Let's go to the next one. All, all right. right, ladies. Power together. together. It's like upper peers. Before I end this video off, I just want to say, dude, I am absolutely in awe and utterly inspired by all the people that took part in Tour de Bintan. I am just so amazed, honestly. They were doing the category awards and there were age 65 to 70, 70 plus people and they were all so ripped and fit and it's such an inspiration and don't even get me started on the females, okay? The woman cyclist absolutely kicked ass. My friend Jen, I'm so proud of her. So after today, I've been so inspired to properly actually get on a training program. So I'm actually gonna start taking part in um, the Female Women's Cycling Federation. Oops, there's a car behind me. That being said, I am very proud of myself this weekend and my performance. For yesterday's 82 kilometer ride, I came fifth amongst all the females. And then out of everyone, which was I think 111 cyclists, I believe I came 38th, so I was very happy. And then for today's 52 kilometer ride, I was fourth amongst all the females. And then I was 18th amongst everyone, guys and girls. So I was so proud of myself. Oh, anyway, I am feeling so inspired and energized. I am gonna ride more. So stay tuned to see my journey and hopefully I will be in a very competitive ride very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to leave a comment down below and I will see you guys on my Instagram, my TikTok, my Facebook, and of course, this YouTube channel. See you later.